Philips offers hospitals a scalable, centralized EICU solution that extends critical care resources to the bedside via technology, independent of the health facility's location. This centralized hub-and-spoke model puts an intensivist-led team in a central monitoring facility where they can be responsible for 50 to 500 remote ICU beds. At the core is Philips eCare Manager software, which consolidates data from multiple sources across a hospital network, is vendor agnostic to the source of the data, provides actionable insights for enhanced acute care clinical decision support and care coordination, and predicts those in imminent need of proactive intervention thanks to its AI-assisted clinical algorithms. Let's take a look at how eCare Manager works. Meet Josephine, a highly trained and very experienced nurse. For the past 30 years, she has worked in intensive care units, providing patients with the benefit of her knowledge and experience, providing them with one-to-one -one bedside care to achieve the best possible care. Today, however, she no longer spends her time at the bedside focused on a single patient. She sits in front of a large computer screen in a central monitoring unit giving the benefit of her knowledge and experience to over 30 intensive care patients spread across an entire hospital network. Using Philips eCare Manager Enterprise Telehealth software and services, she is not only able to remotely oversee patients in beds hundreds of miles away, identifying and prioritizing patients who can benefit from her expertise, she also has the immediate backup of an expert intensivist to make the fast evidence-based decisions. Josephine's day starts like any normal day. She opens the eCare Manager patient census screen to view the patients she is responsible for oversight, the hospital, unit, and bed number they're in, and more importantly, which ones are most in need of attention. Josephine can also display a more detailed watch list of the patients she is assigned to. To help her, each patient entry in the patient census includes an acuity score that reflects their overall level of acuity. It is calculated from an assessment of multiple organ systems, such as the patient's cardiac and respiratory system, together with other information such as their lab test results, ventilator settings, and medication. The patient census screen also displays the difference between a patient's current acuity score and their rolling average acuity over the last 12 hours indicating whether the patient has improved or deteriorated. Color coding highlights the patients most in need of her attention, red being the most in need. Since yesterday, Josephine notices that there is a new patient added to her patient list. John Smith, a 56-year-old with no major medical history, has been admitted to the medical ICU diagnosed with acute kidney injury a rapid decrease in renal function over days to weeks causing an accumulation of toxic products in his blood and a reduction in his urine output, resulting in inadequate renal perfusion. It's often caused by trauma, illness, renal disease, or sepsis. At the moment, John's automated acuity status is yellow, so he's not on Josephine's high priority list, but she is concerned about his status pending labs and radiology images and his potential for clinical deterioration. Josephine has therefore added John to her automated acuity watch list, flagging him for follow-up. She has also added comments regarding her concerns about his current condition, plus items to follow up on, such as his lab results, diagnostic images, and other orders, etc. She also looked at the eCare Manager Sepsis Quick View based on concerns about John's potential for sepsis as an underlying cause of his acute kidney injury. John's bedside care team already has him on antibiotics, diuretics, oxygen therapy, and electrolyte replacement therapy. Labs and images ordered in the emergency department are beginning to post in eCare Manager. However, John is about to hit a crisis point. Despite clinical interventions to stabilize his fluid volume status, he is rapidly worsening, and eCare Manager sepsis prompt is triggered. After investigation, concerns have been escalated by the EICU team's resident intensivist, who discusses the sepsis prompt with the bedside care team. Sepsis is confirmed, and a sepsis diagnosis is entered into eCare Manager to prevent the prompt from re-triggering. Aggressive sepsis management is initiated with one, three, and six-hour support provided by the EICU care team, 
and John is started on vasopressor drugs to increase his rapidly falling blood pressure. John is now one of Josephine's and the EICU intensivist's high priority patients. Looking at John's overview screen, the EICU care team can monitor the trending of John's cardiovascular, metabolic, renal, respiratory, and infectious disease status, so they can collaborate with his bedside team to aggressively manage his sepsis with a close focus on fluid management. Josephine can see that John's automated acuity score has increased and changed from a yellow 6 to a yellow 14, with a worsening delta score of plus 6. E-Care Manager's live audio video feed to John's bedside allows Josephine and her resident intensivist to take a look at John's condition for themselves and assist his bedside team based on observation in the E-Care Manager system as well as through audio video assessment. When Josephine returns on shift the next day, she can see that John is now on continuous renal replacement therapy, a machine that takes over from his kidneys and continuously cleans out waste products and fluid from his bloodstream, a bit like a dialysis machine, but slower and gentler on John's heart. As a result, she can see that his condition is improving, which means that he can be weaned off his continuous renal replacement therapy machine. Once off the machine and on intermittent hemodialysis and with antibiotics having dealt with his infection, John continues to recover. And with the right mitigation measures in place, John can now be discharged to a step-down unit where e-care manager will continue to oversee his progress and inform his care team's clinical decision-making as he continues his recovery. E-Care Manager's strength is in its ability to allow experienced critical care nurses like Josephine to provide their expertise to multiple patients without the need to physically be by their bedside. E-Care Manager can also be used for assessing ICU performance in terms of metrics such as ICU and hospital mortality rate, ICU length of stay, and adherence to best practice procedures and it is compliant with the privacy, security, and breach notification rules of the U.S. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Communicating via a secure HL7 interface, eCare Manager is interoperable with existing EMR, combining patient histories and real-time data in intuitive dashboards for clinical analysis and informed decision-making. Its real-time audiovisual communication links to the bedside teams and enables visual patient assessment. Its Smart Alerts technology helps intensivists to make timely interventions and optimize patient care plans. By enabling a single intensivist and two or three critical care nurses to supplement care for up to 150 beds, it makes efficient use of resources across hospital networks. And by identifying patient deterioration before it becomes critical, eCare Manager supports the quadruple aim, contributing to enhanced patient outcomes, which may indirectly reduce the overall length and cost of hospital stays. For over 20 years, Philips applied clinical and technical expertise to empower virtual care medicine and create telehealth solutions for customers. Building upon the Philips EICU offering, acute care telehealth is offered as part of Philips Health Suite the Philips cloud-based solution platform. The acute care telehealth solution securely collects relevant clinical data from hospital information systems and medical devices, regardless of vendor or location, analyzes the data by applying clinical decision support tools and analytics, presents the consolidated data in a way that supports the needs of remote clinician teams. We hope this demonstration has given you a clear insight into one of the many ways in which Philips is helping healthcare providers unleash the full potential of their data to transform tomorrow's medicine and enable greater quality of care. Delivering on the quadruple aim of improved patient outcomes, enhanced patient and staff experiences, and lower cost of care. Thank you for your time.